Hey guys. So I'm not in my usual getup. I've decided to dress like a Teletubby for this evening because I'm in Toshijima, which is just off the coast of Tobe, very close to uh, Ise, where we're heading tomorrow. Um, we've tried to do a kind of survival challenge on our, on our last day of kayaking. So we've kayaked over to an island. Uh, it's inhabited by about 600, 700 people. And we don't have a hotel. And we don't have any money. So we're just going to camp it up next to the beach we found a nice spot of grass and i want to introduce you to the survival dinner of japan right now first of all we have our onigiri selection the next line has our energy bar selection different kinds of oats honey chocolate taste wafer taste these are my favorites right here but none of this matters because there's something far more important to show you. It is calorie meto. Here we have calorie mate. Now, sounds like something that you would take uh, or eat when you're on a diet. But no, calorie mate, it's your mate because it's loaded with calories. This little packet is a little bit like elven bread from Lord of the Rings. You just eat a little block and you keep keeps you going all day long. I've got five flavors right here. And me and Duncan are going to test these out and see if they really are the ultimate survival foods. Can you just reel off the flavors that we have? Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Maple. Maple syrup. And uh, fruits. Fruit. Okay. Plain. Plain taste. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese flavor. My God. So, cheese flavor. Because we all know that cheese is just scarily bad. I thought what we would do is we'd take one of each of them out, and then shuffle we'll, it. We'll shuffle them up. <laughs> Can we make Russian roulette? <laughs> all right, you shuffle them up, and then we'll just reach out and get one, shall we? And then. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. It's just a plain one. What's this one? I can't tell. I can't tell the flavour. It's bloody cheese. <laughs> yes. Don't say. That's it. It's really bad. It's so dry. <laughs> it smells like my socks after like a couple of days. Oh, do I have to? It just is so dry and whoop! Bye bye! <laughs> shimmy 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 shimmy. I'll put them back on. Go for one. Um Chocolate. Yeah. The chocolate one is amazing actually. These are the winners, aren't they? These mm. are, I mean these are the two leaders of the pack for me. Chocolate and maple. Maybe a mixture of the two is good. No! Oh! And that one is. That's fruit. It's my first time. I've I'm not a tried fruit, the fruit one. The fruit kind of remake virgin. It's an epic moment. Ooh. That smells alright. Ooh. Little bits in there. <laughs> Fruitsu. Fruitsu daisuke. They're very kind of easy to eat, right? Yeah, yeah. They really do serve their purpose well. But an onigiri is going to taste way better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, calorie mates. <laughs> We're never getting sponsorship. <laughs> I'm going to split this one in two so you can try it. Freaking hell, isn't it? Well, I mean, the marketing would have you believe that that was two. Yeah, exactly. Wow, That's what this, I was thinking. this looks good. I like how you sniff it beforehand. Like, is this suspect? What is it? I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> oh, hang on, it seems a, spice, a little bit spicy then. Or is that just my... No, no Taste buds gone mad from calorie mate. Some spice. Hmm. It's not too bad. I think that was when I got to Japan, that was one of my favourite things about onigiri. Like, I couldn't... 
couldn't read Japanese. I can't. I still can't. I speak Japanese. I can't read Japanese. You can speak. Hmm. And so you, you'd get the ball. I'd, I'd kind of like, well, I'll have a blue one today. I have no idea what's in the middle of it. Mm. Actually, I find that like kanji and stuff for food is sometimes like so hard, indecipherable. So I'm just looking at it and I'm like pretending that I'm like deciding, oh, that's, no, oh, that one looks really good. Oh, whip this one. But really, I haven't got a clue. I'm trying to find one with the pitch yet. <laughs> Help me. Well, it's just like I can't figure it out because even if that, like, even with the picture, it's like it's got something weird in it. Right. And every there's a picture time, of something I've never even seen before. Yeah, exactly. Right? But every time when I try it, I like it. Obviously, they're not going to make some sort of crazy flavour like cheese or umeboshi. Mm, what else have we got? What's in that? That looks interesting. Here's another. Torigomochi moku. I think this is a safe one. That looks like a oh, that, salmon mayo. I mean, that tuna one, mayo. That one's good. I've had that one a few times. But that one is kanji crazy. Yeah. It's like food kanji is really hard. It's like south, high, something from the sea. Bosh. Ah, oh, oh, wait. There's tiny little hiragana. Nanko. Nanko bai. Nanko pai? Kishi. Oh, wait a minute. Because that's for Kyushu. And that's for. Um, Ki. I just learned this one, but I can't remember the name of it. Kishu. Nankobai. Nankobai. Well. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> now we know exactly what's in now it. Now I'm still confused. What is that? I'm going to open this crazy one. Oh, this is also interesting, huh? The this, one, two, three. This tastes like it's got um, chicken chow mein in it or something. Like, it's got a chow mein flavour. Not bad. Hello, mosquito. Why is it? Why do mosquitoes always fly into your ear? It's, it's like the juiciest part of your body is just your ear. That way you could cut your teeth. I've got to tell you to put my mask on. Make my ears are the juiciest part of me. I wanted to tell people about this. One, two, three. What's one, two, three? I think ah. I've mastered this. Go on then. The uh, onigiri is often a, in a triangle. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a... Uh, Triangle basically. It's a classic, it's a classic shape of onigiri. And they have an instruction. So number one, rip the piece straight, straight down, down the, the center. Bam. Up the other side. Oosh. Right. And then don't just pull the corners off, check which one. Okay, two. Slide him out. It's gone. So in theory, if I hold the onigiri now with a the seaweed wrap, pull number three. That is how you open an onigiri. I'm always in such great haste to get into the food that I'm like, Bleh! and then like, I end you up lose having the yeah, no, no seaweed. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's so sad. I still haven't figured out the the round ones. You know the maki ones, the uh, natto I maki. I, I, I actually don't really buy them very often. I haven't worked out how the hell you keep your seaweed on them. Oh no, it's umeboshi. Oh no, is it umeboshi? It's. It's a plum, but it doesn't taste as strong. I only got a tip of it. You want it? No. Look at the fear in your eyes. <laughs> no. Umeboshi, <laughs> no. Really? I it's, thought you liked umeboshi. No, bushy. it's so wrong. I saw you eating something plum flavored the other day, even though this is a sour plum. It's funny because I'm not that against umeboshi, but I feel like I fear them when they're in on a giddy. Wow, that's sour. Gave yeah, me a okay. shiver down my spine. Wow. There's the wafer bar. There's your happy chocolate. Oh, there's two. Ah, oh, these are great. You like them? Yeah, these are good. I try, oh, but wait, there's two different flavors here. Is there? I didn't know there were Oh, flavors. no, I, I made a mistake, sorry. I'm looking all excited for a new experience. Yeah, we got that thing that goes on those. Baked, baked with the chocolate. Baked chocolate. This is everything. We no, have? there's a few more. Morning bars. Okay, good. They're right. the morning bars. 
Yeah, have some baked choco. I'll give you the packet. Is that what it's called? Baked choco. It's like a brownie. That's what it tastes like. It's like a good old brownie. Oh, this one is like the bar of the trip for me so far. Why? Because I've consumed probably 40 of these bars. I normally eat three or four of these every day. Yeah. And the reason being is most energy bars, even this one, which I won't, I won't show the love bar, it's very sweet. They make them with syrups and honeys, and I find them very overpowering. If I eat one, that's like kind of unsettling almost. Even when I'm biking, I don't want something. Yeah, too sweet. It's uh, not good for you. Some sweetness is like, you know, like an energy drink or something. Sometimes mm. it's okay, but like one, if you're just hitting bars all day long and they're like, Wah, sweet. This one, somehow it's not sweet, right? I don't know what the hell it's made of. But. It's strange. It's got like a... I don't, it's, it's sweet, but it feels like a more natural sweetness. Like it's mom's, not empowering, right? Mum's homemade cookies mm. or something. Mm. Yeah. And the dark, like, cocoa flavor, yeah? Yeah. Oh, nice. R Raider. You did a great job with this. Raider. Keeping runaway fuel. <laughs> Keeping Dean fuel. Yeah, where's the cup of coffee? Who, where's the flask? Where's the where's fire? The beer? Yeah, where's uh, the fire? We've got nothing. We've got nothing. Well, you know, we don't need those things. We've got each other. There is that. And water, is what I was going to say. <laughs> At least we've got water. <laughs> yeah, I find it strange. We've seen so many things in like a short space of time. Everything's so hugely condensed together that I almost lose track of what's happened i sure i've lost track of the days i don't even mm. know uh, it's like mm. monday sunday i don't know what it is anymore mm. it's not just that it's like like yesterday i was doing this like this day i was at the top of a mountain today i'm kayaking mm. in the sea mm. tomorrow i'm right absorbing home. you know mm. anything and it's it's that's getting pretty intense every it's day fun, is a it's fun on, huh? mm, new challenge but it's not just that like Every day there's that, like, organizing the challenges with the team. Mm -hmm. uh, think for me, thinking about, like, oh, I've got to make sure I've got this, I've got that, and I've got to get this shot. And yeah, quite a lot to think about. Mm. It's all falling into place, though. Well, ah, that was good. That was such a good dinner. I feel I've had an ample sufficiency. Yeah. May I leave the table? <laughs> I really feel... I feel content and yet I could just keep eating. I know, yeah, me too. It's something like, why is it with this type of food, it doesn't fill you? It's not the same as eating a, a meal with rice and pasta. And yeah, bread, having it? that substantial, like, I don't know, eating carb. biscuits. <laughs> mm, bad boys. Should we end with this one? Ah, uh, okay. Actually, wait a minute, let's see what this is the stinky flavour. What is that flavour? Blueberry. Blueberry. What flavour have you got there? Creamy. Is it called cream? Yeah, it says creamy. Coffee cream. Coffee cream. Could just cream it and then do that. Oh, well, that's the um, granola brand thing, I think, one. You've had that one before. Yeah, but I think this is like... I, I always think like... God forbid this is actually going to be like another cheese version. Like, no. Ah! no. Not a cheese again. This, like, you open the packet and instantly. Oh my god, it just smells. I think this is the nicest smelling thing in the world. It's so sweet. It's like vanilla and toffee, and I just want to smell it, basically. <laughs> just leave it around my house, you know. I think I've smelled something like this in a coffee shop. Like, like a coffee that smells like this. Mmm. Well, I thought it was coffee flavored, and then I thought it was vanilla flavored, and then apparently you told me it's cream. Cream and some kanji, I don't know, flavour. Hmm. should leave some of these in the toilet at home. <laughs> Every time you walk in. On your dashboard, on your car. <laughs> just dank in there. <laughs> What's that lovely smell? Do you like my new aftershave? <laughs> Rubbed it into my skin. With his lights off, the stars look beautiful. It's time to run, run away. It's time to break away. Just get away, run away. I'm gonna.
matter of 